Um, good morning and welcome to the first meeting of the Hutchison's Hospital Transfer and Dissolution Scotland Bill Committee. Can I remind uh, all those present, including members, that mobile phones and other devices should be set to silent. Um, agenda item one, uh, the first item on our agenda is the declaration of interest and of impartiality. In accordance with section three of the Code of Conduct, I invite members to declare any interest relevant uh, to the remit of the committee. I remind members that declarations should be brief but sufficiently detailed to make clear to any listener the nature of the interest. And in accordance with Rule 9A.5.4A .A of Standing Orders, I invite members to declare that he or she will act impartially and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. Uh, I will start by declaring that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the Hutchison's Hospital Transfer and Dissolution Scotland Bill Committee and will base decisions solely on their evidence and information provided to the committee and that I do not otherwise have any interests that touch on uh, the matters before us. Thank you, Convener. Uh, I declare that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the Hutchison's Hospital Transfer and Dissolution Scotland Bill Committee and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. I declare that I will impartially act uh, in my capacity as a member of the Hus Hutchison's Hospital Transfer and Dissolution Scotland Bill Committee and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. I also uh, declare that I have no interest uh, to declare. I declare that I will act impartially in my capacity as a member of the Hutchison's Hospital Transfer and Dissolution Scotland Bill Committee and will base decisions solely on the evidence and information provided to the committee. I have no relevant interests to declare. Uh, thank you very much. That completes uh, agenda item one. Our second item is to choose a convener. The Parliament has agreed that the convener of this committee should be a member of the Scottish Labour Party, and Kezia Dugdale is the only Labour member of this committee. Are we agreed to choose Kezia Dugdale as our new convener? Agreed. We're agreed. I congratulate Kezia Dugdale on her appointment and hand over the chair for the remainder of the proceedings. Thank you. And can I also thank uh, all the officials for the preparation in advance of today's meeting. It's much appreciated by all members here. Our third item today is to choose a deputy convener. The Parliament has agreed that only members of the Scottish National Party are eligible for nomination as deputy convener of this committee. Uh, can I invite Stuart Stevenson to confirm that he is the nominee of the Scottish National Party? I so confirm. Thank you. Given that there's no secondary required, can I... Uh, Confirm that other members are happy for Stuart to take on that role? That's happy. Great, and I congratulate Stuart Stevenson on his appointment and look forward to working with him and with other members. Uh, can I invite colleagues to move on to item four of the agenda? Uh, the fourth item is to decide whether to take item five on the committee's work programme in private. Do we wish to take item five in private? Yes. Thank you. So that's what we shall do. Um, that's public business of the committee now concluded and we shall allow a minute for the gallery to be cleared and the cameras to be turned off.